<clears throat> hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to draw the Lewis dot structure for the acetate ion. So here we go. Uh, the acetate ion is um, C2H3O2 minus, so negative one charge, and that's going to give us uh, two carbons, each with four valence electrons plus three hydrogens, each with one electron or valence electron plus uh, two oxygens each with six valence electrons plus one more for the negative one charge for a total of 24 valence electrons okay it's a long one um, alright so we can't really use my trick where you subtract out the largest multiple of eight because as you can see, two carbons, that's going to give us uh, two central atoms. So we're just going to go ahead and, ha and have to draw the structure freehand. All right, so we have um, two carbons that are going to be in the center. And obviously, the, the hydrogens cannot bond to more than one thing. So what we're going to do is have the three hydrogens here on the end attached to this carbon right here. We can go ahead and single bond them. So there's a three hydrogens, two carbons. Now we also have to, to do the two more oxygens. So let's put one here and one here, okay? And the, uh, we can single bond the carbons together. And for right now, we'll single bond the oxygens to the carbon, this is carbon here, and then we'll fill in their octets, okay? So this looks to be pretty accurate, except if you notice, this carbon only has three bonds, which means six electrons and they're supposed to have eight for their octet. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna move this non-bonding pair of electrons here and form a double bond with the carbon right there. Okay, so now if you count them up, there's two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24 electrons, which is what we have here as our total. So this should be right. So let's go ahead and uh, check the formal charges. But first we gotta put in the uh, brackets or braces because this is an ion. Okay, now we can go ahead and check the formal charges. Okay, so the uh, formal charges, let's see, on uh, carbon 1, which is going to be this one right here. So this is uh, carbon 1. Okay, formal charge there is going to be uh, 4 valence brought in, minus 1, 2, 3, 4 bonds, minus 0 non bonding electrons for a formal charge of 0. The uh, formal charge on carbon 2, which is this one here. Uh, it's going to be uh, four valence brought in minus one, two, three, four bonds again minus zero non-bonding for a formal charge also of zero. Um, the formal charge on let's do the hydrogens next. So these three hydrogens, notice they all have the same setup, so their formal charges should all be equal. Uh, and that's going to be one valence brought in for each minus a single bond for each one minus zero non-bonding electrons. Formal charge of zero times that by three because there's three of them, okay? And now next, let's go ahead and look at the uh, formal charge of the oxygen with a single bond, O sub one, so that's gonna be this oxygen here. So um, that's going to be six valence brought in, minus one bond, minus two, four, six non-bonding electrons for a formal charge of minus one. And now finally, the formal charge on O sub 2, the oxygen with a double bond, so this oxygen here, okay, that's going to be um, 6 valence brought in minus um, 2 bonds, 1, 2, minus 1, 2, 3, 4 non bonding electrons for a formal charge of 0. Alright, if we add all these up, 0, 0, 0, negative 1, 0, it's a negative 1 overall formal charge, which is what we need because the, the charge on this ion is minus 1. Okay, so that's good, that's what we're looking for. Now notice we just happen to choose this oxygen to have the double bond instead of this one. That's going to lead to having a resonant structure where we choose the other oxygen to have the double bond, okay? So now the top is going to have a single, and the bottom oxygen will have a double bond. And there we go. There are our two structures, okay? Now we can talk about the shape a little bit, but not a whole lot. Um, in terms of hybridization first, the first carbon, so C1 here, there's one, two, three, four um, bonding sites or electron groups. So C1 is going to have an sp3 hybridization, okay? And that's because there's four bonding sites, which means you need four orbitals. 
uh, carbon 2, this carbon right here, 1, 2, 3 bonding sites, which means sp2 hybrid. And notice that the double bond still counts as a single bonding site, not two, okay? And uh, in terms of polarity, due to the, these oxygens over here, they're not going to match up with the hydrogen, so this is going to be a polar compound, all right? That is pretty much it for this one. If you have any questions, let me know, and thank you for watching.